The bed's not aired. We weren't expecting you. I came as soon as I heard. Heard what? From Frank. I came as soon as I heard from Frank. Why? I had a letter arrive this morning. I put on my coat and came at once. I'll put a brick in the oven. I didn't tell you to come and see us. I told you to stop looking for my son. And I came straight here to find out exactly what you wanted me to do. I want you to stop looking. It's not difficult. Bread and jam or bread and marmite if you're hungry. We've had our tea. No, thank you, Edith. I wouldn't have said no to a fatted calf with mushy peas. That's all you require, when? That I should cease to pursue my inquiries? That's right. Stop. I will. I'll go back home tomorrow quite happy now that I'm clearing my mind. I don't know why it won't clear in first place. I had to be certain. There's no Dubonny in this house, I suppose. I'm still alive in that tea bag. I've only to wet it. Your letter said it was Edith's health that was holding you back. She looks all right to me. Looks don't tell you everything. Are you sure you'll be quite content never to see your son again? Even though he is your own flesh and blood? Perhaps later. If Edith goes before me, we'll have to wait and see. What do you want to do about your tea? Pardon? You'll need a glass for your tea. You'd best keep him in room with you. If you leave him in bathroom, we won't lose where he knows. <laughs> 